Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode, and just as I promised my friends, welcome to the second video of the day. So we are back home in London, we got back home a couple of hours ago, and it is official, we are going to be double uploading COC on the channel every single day, so make sure you drop us up guys, we are approaching 750,000 subscribers, if you want your daily fix of COC content, subscribe to this channel right now. So obviously the update is just around the corner, and as I said, we are approaching 750,000 subscribers so once we do get there and the update does launch hopefully next week we will be giving away tens of thousands of free gems so if you want the chance to win those guys if you want the chance to win some free gems make sure you subscribe to the channel so a couple of hours ago we started the biggest trophy push we have done today we are going to go for 5,500 trophies minimum Hopefully we can get into the top 1,000 players in the world. Now along the journey, we will obviously be maxing out our heroes and the rest of the Town Hall 11 base. But I thought to myself, you know what? Whilst we're still low in trophies, whilst we're still in the Masters League, why don't we have a little bit of fun in the game? So what we're going to be doing right now, we are going to take on some Town Hall 11 bases. We're going to take on some Eagle Artilleries live using one troop and one troop only. So you're about to see an all max witch army, an all max bowler army, an all max valkyrie army, and an all max minor army take on the Eagle Artillery and the Town Hall 11 base. What I want you guys to do, go down below in that comment section and let me know which one of the four troops, the witch, the bowler, the minor, or the valkyrie, is going to get the highest percent overall damage. I reckon I'm, I'm going to be weird here. I'm going to choose the witch. I reckon the witch is going to surprise us all. Will the witch get a three star, guys? You're going to have to wait and stay tuned. We are about to get ourselves into the first attack. So the first troop to take on the challenge is actually going to be the miners, guys. So we got 48 miners and we are just going to spam these maxed out level four miners into this very, I would say it's pretty damn rushed Town Hall 11 base. Hopefully we're going to be three starring it, guys. Here we go. The heroes have just dropped in behind as well. Now they've actually got a clan castle over on the left hand side, but those giants are getting spanked by those miners. Check it out. So do not forget, guys, if you do want to see a gemming episode, we will be gemming the king and the queen to level 35. If you do want to see a gemming episode, then drop a like on this video right now. As I said earlier, if we do get 5,000 likes on this episode, we will be bringing you a gemming episode next, guys, where we will be gemming the heroes to level 35. So that is going to be absolutely awesome. So check it in the center. The miners have torn the center of this base into pieces. Unfortunately, that Inferno Tower there is still up. But check it out, guys. The king actually distracts my miners. And they go off towards the left-hand side where the king is, take the king down, and completely leave the Inferno Tower standing. So that could be a bit of a problem, but do not worry. The heroes are still there. We still have the king and the queen's ability to use. The Grand Warden is backing them up. The rest of the base is pretty much being destroyed, guys. These miners are so damn OP. Level 4 miners taking on this rushed Town Hall 11 base. Wasn't a problem, guys. So obviously the miners are about to 3-star, but this is only the first of 4 attacks. You are about to see some witches take on a Town Hall 11 base, and the Witches are probably one of the worst troops inside of the game. So what is the outcome going to be? You're just going to have to stay tuned to find out. So the next attack is going to be some bowlers, and that is going to be live. Then we are going to go in for the Witch Army, so stay tuned, guys. Let's just gem up the rest of the bowlers. Here we go. 37. How many bowlers have we got? 37 so far, and then another three. So a total of 40 bowlers. We've got 11 spells and, of course, the heroes. Let me just get a screenshot of the bowlers, guys, for the thumbnail. There we go. So we're ready to get ourselves into some live action. You know what we're going to do? Because the bowlers are the hardest troop, one of the uh, the strongest troops inside of the game, I was going to say we're going to take on the first base we find, which is the Town Hall 11. Is that kind of unfair? You know what, guys? Let's do it. Let's wreck this guy's base. I mean, it's a completely dead base. Check it out. We may as well wreck it with these bowlers. So, we don't have any wall breakers. I forgot. So, we've only got earthquake spells. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. So, we're going to drop the king, the queen, the grand warden. We're going to drop a couple of bowlers, you know, just on the sides there. And then the rest of them are going to be funneling into the center. So, here we go, guys. The bowlers are going to hopefully destroy this base. But we could be in a... Wow! Where's my king gone? We lost the king. What has happened? Wow, the king's been destroyed and the bowlers aren't going to funnel into the center, guys. Because as I said, we don't have any wall breakers. This couldn't have gone any worse. So we're going to put the Grand Warden's ability. The rage spells have both been dropped down and the bowlers are going schizo all over the base. Check this out. This is insane, guys. One of the funniest attacks we have ever done. 36%. The bowlers on the right-hand side have been destroyed. 
R.I.P. Bolas. We lost the king in seconds. I'm not quite sure what I actually managed to kill him there. So we're going to drop a free spell on that mortar before it completely wipes out all of my bowlers. Here we go. Bowlers are about to go nuts. Hopefully they can take out this wizard tower before it comes alive. Quickly, the wizard tower is going to destroy you all. Wow. Almost took out every single one of those bowlers. We're going to drop the poison spell, you know, just in case. Let's see what happens here, guys. We're up to a one star. We got a one star, which isn't great. This is a dead town hall 11 base, and we've only managed to grab a one star. Pretty damn hilarious, though. Obviously, we didn't bring any wall breakers. Look at that. One stupid bowler. We're going to wait for that bowler to die, actually. The rest of the troops are about to fade out. The barbarian king is getting taken out by my grand warden. That's pretty awesome. So we still got the grand warden. If he's cheeky, he could actually grab that gold storage there. Sorry, that gold collector for me. So the bowlers made it into the base. Here we go. This is going to be interesting. Wow. So the Grand Warden's still alive over on the left-hand side, guys. And he hasn't yet gone for that gold collector, but it's getting close. It is definitely getting close. The Grand Warden, sorry, the bowler has actually made it into the center. And check it out. He's made it onto the town hall, but obviously it's going to take so long. Will he be able to take the town hall down in 45 seconds? We're going to have to wait and see what happens, guys. So the Grand Warden taking out the Wizard Tower. This is a very interesting battle. One of the weirdest attacks we've ever seen. So the Grand Warden has just made it onto the Gold Collector, guys. If we go back into the center, it looks like the Bowler could have a chance. 30 seconds to take down this Town Hall 11. Is he going to do it? Come on, Bowler, you can do it. Look at those muscles in his back work, guys. Checking those bowls. Chucking those bowls. Here we go. The Grand Warden has finally been intercepted by a cannon, but he's going to take it out pretty damn easy. The Grand Warden, sorry, the Bowler. I keep mixing them up. The Bowler still on that Town Hall 11, guys. He's got 10 seconds to take out the Town Hall 11. Let's just zoom in here. Is he going to do it? Five seconds remaining. Nope. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. He got close. Definitely got a lot closer than I thought, but unfortunately, we only got a one star. And damn, that was bad. I'm not going to lie. That was bad. So we are back. Now, obviously, the Witch Army takes so long to train. Training up 20 witches took about two hours, but we boosted the barracks. It took about half an hour. Now, I completely forgot to record, but check this out. We landed on a Town Hall 10 with 1.3 million loot. Now, I know I said we're attacking Town Hall 11s, but I couldn't let this go, guys. There is no way I could let this go. And let's be honest, an all-witch army is going to get destroyed so quickly by Town Hall 11, especially now because the Larrys don't trigger any traps. But check this out. We don't have any wall breakers once again, so funneling in the witches is going to be a bit of a problem. But we can do it. Check it out. They are like level 5 walls. If we can get the queen or the king onto those walls, then hopefully we can do some real damage inside of the space. So the Barbarian King already sustaining a massive amount of damage. We've just popped the King's ability. Check it out though, guys. At the bottom of the base, no one has decided to try and target those level 5 walls. For some reason, they go for the higher level walls. It's pretty damn stupid. The game mechanics can really be annoying at points. But here we go. The witches, the skeletons, everything is making it into the center, guys. There is only one Inferno Tower up. Once we get that Inferno Tower, the other one is already down. Completely out of ammo. And check it out. we got the heal spell on the witches. Keeping the witches alive. The poison spell in the center. This is going to be beautiful, guys. Can we get a great percentage on this base? Can the witches do some damage? Or are they going to get picked off? It looks like the witches are slowly dying. Imagine if we attacked a Town Hall 11. We would have been wrecked in seconds. So the Grand Warden and the Queen are still in the center of the base. There is about 10, maybe 15 witches left alive. I think we've lost about maybe 5, 6, 7 witches so far. But they are slowly dropping. The Mortars are doing some big damage to the witches. Check it out, guys. The Skeletons are going lower and lower. And the Tesla is being cheeky and zapping the witches. Look at that. It's picking off my witches. Poor witches. They're all getting wrecked by the Teslas and the Mortars. So obviously the Queen is about to go down now as well. The Grand Warden is still alive. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen, guys. So we're going to go quad speed to finish off this raid. The Witches, obviously one of the most awesome troops in the game in the past COC. But since they were nerfed, they just don't have what it takes anymore. I mean, I would never use Witches. They just get completely wrecked. There is no point in using them. So check it out, guys. The Witches, what got, what got higher? The Witches or the Bowlers? I think the Bowlers still got more damage than the Witches. And they completely messed up their raid. So it is time to get ourselves into the final attack, the final troop. Now, obviously, we did mess up the bowler attack, and we also messed up the witch attack because we didn't bring any wall breakers. Now, I know I said the rules were one troop and one troop only, but with the Valkyries, I decided to, you know, bring a couple of actual, a couple of wall breakers, drop a couple of the Valkyries out, and see what we can do to a pretty much maxed out Town Hall 11 base. Now, the beautiful thing about this base is it's in nice compartments, which means... We actually didn't open up two compartments. Now, I've done that for a specific reason. I want the Valkyries 
to all funnel into the center to see what they can really do. So check it out. We're going to funnel in the Valkyries. We're going to drop a couple on the right, a couple on the left, and then the rest of them are all going to go into the center. So there's about 20, 25 Valkyries there, which are about to tear their way into the center of this Town Hall 11 base. Now, it worked really damn well, guys. Check it out. Just as I said, we funneled them right into the center. Second Rage Spell is about to go down on the Town Hall 11. And check this out. The center of a maxed out Town Hall 11 base goes down in about 10 seconds. That is what I call beautiful attacking, guys. These Valkyries really one of the best troops to at least two-star a Town Hall 11 base. But if you want a three-star a base, I would say the Miners and the actual bowlers are probably a better choice. But the Valkyries pretty much guaranteed a two-star if you do manage to funnel them into the center. Even if the big bombs go off, even if there is a defending clan castle, there really isn't much that can, uh, you know, defend against the Valkyrie. So that is where the raid ended and we did get 52%. So just before we do end this episode, we have 10 million gold. We may as well upgrade one of those walls. So we will be back in a couple of hours time, guys, for another episode. Don't forget to go and check out the first video of the day if you did miss it. So stay tuned to the channel, drop a like down below, and of course subscribe if you want to get your daily fix of COC content. As I said, we are back in London. We are back to two videos a day, every single day on the channel. So I will see you shortly. Have a great Friday evening. Peace out.